Hello fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to the final episode of Mass Effect. On the last episode, we were way down on the Presidium, where everything was on fire, it was destroyed, Avena was acting up a lot more than what she usually does, which is very little, and we had to fight a couple of husks before we took the elevator up to the Citadel Council, which we are currently at because the elevators were shut down while Sovereign grabbed onto the actual building part of the council tower and managed to shut all the arms of the citadel so no one could touch him while he gets the reaper invasion prepared. But we spacewalked from where the elevator stopped up to here. And in this episode, we're going to be wrapping everything up. I think, I, I, I wonder if anyone else agrees with me that Mass Effect probably has the best story out of the trilogy. I absolutely love the story of this trilogy. I mean, the game gameplay-wise, in, in terms of, you know, the, the shooter aspects of it, yeah, it wasn't as, it's not as good as other third-person shooters that came out during that same time. Like, Gears of War came out in 2006, which is a year before this. Oh, what just happened there? The inventory system is kind of overflowing. But it, the story, oh my god, the story. We have a lot more enemies right here. They're going to prevent this. Remember, remember back in episode two, where we came here, and we complained about Saren and the Reapers and the Prothean Beacon that just exploded in Shepard's face moments prior? There's where he's found Emily Wong when she wanted us to spy on CSEC. There's where Admiral Kahoku was at. There's where Torben was, where he wanted us to find the, scan the keepers, and now we found that the keepers are evil, evil people. Sovereign and plant you? Are you insane? I suppose I should thank you, Shepard. After Vermeyer, I couldn't stop thinking about what you said. About Sovereign manipulating me. About indoctrination. The doubts began to eat away at me. Sovereign sensed my hesitation. I was implanted to strengthen my resolve. Now my doubts are gone. I believe in Sovereign completely. I understand that the Reapers need organics. Join us, and Sovereign will find a place for you, too. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. Sovereign hasn't won yet. I can stop it from taking control of the station. Step aside and the invasion will never happen. We can't stop it. Not forever. You saw the visions. You saw what happened to the Protheans. The Reapers are too powerful. Some part of you must still realize this is wrong. You can fight this. Maybe you're right. Maybe there is still a chance for... The implants. Sovereign is too strong. I'm sorry. It is too late for me. It's not over yet. You can still redeem yourself.
individual's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick, open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. Are you sure about this, Shepard? Human casualties will be very high if you send your fleet in now. This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign is a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. True. That's why you can't waste reinforcements trying to save the Council. You must hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? This is the second... Well, not the second. This is another big decision that impacts the sequel games. If you pick this or this, the Council will die. If you pick this one, the Council will live. However, many human casualties will be had because you decided to save the Council. If you choose either that or that, no human casualties. Or very little. But, save the Council. Council is the Paragon option. And I cannot let the Council die. Unlike what this message says, I have to save the Council. Council. I can't even say the word pronounced. I can't even say the word correctly. Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Make sure he's dead. He's dead. Why am I just standing around? Sovereign just quick huskified Saren. We're gonna. Oh, I don't think that's gonna do much, will it? So our so Saren, like I said, we are gonna fight him. Ow! Hurry up, gun! Hurry up and D overheat. I don't think I can 
stand much more of this. Where did that go? I just saw no explosion. There we go. Oh, now he's jumping around. Uh, that. Uh, that. Why haven't I not used overkill? That's like my, that's like my main source of power for my assault rifle. So Saren hasn't even been touched yet. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, God. Oh, he's shooting out rockets. Come on. Come on, we're attacking Saren now. His shields are completely gone. Uh, that maybe? Uh, how about adrenaline burst? Oh, God. Oh, my shields are back. Oh, but my weapon's overheated again. Watch out for a sniper shot, apparently. He has a sniper as part of him now. You don't want a shields recharge. On overheat, gun. All right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. Watch out. Watch out, Liara. He's standing. Or... So when Saren reaches half health, and of course his shields recharge. What a fair fight. Oh. Um, 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 um. Warp. We haven't used warp at all. No, actually do it on him. Use overkill again. That didn't seem to slow him down. Oh god, he's right next to me. He's just like a stupid geth ghost or stalker. Except now he's even more annoying than before. Stop moving! Ah! Tally, you're a little hurt. Let's, let's revitalize you a little bit. His shields are almost gone. That that cutscene always happens when Saren reaches about half, half health. I think I've already said that, but I'm a little flustered right now because I'm in the middle of a giant fight. Oh, God! Stand still for a moment. Let me kill you. There we go. Overload all over his body. That was probably not the right words to say. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. He is at like a third of health. We're draining him. He's, he's almost gone. He's so close to dead. Only a couple more hits. Use 
Jason, we found him. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice. And we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both Humanity and the Council. Sovereign was only a vanguard. The Reaper fleet is still coming. Hundreds of ships, maybe thousands. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. And so ends Mass Effect. Oh, couple things. 
One, the song currently playing that I'm sadly talking over is incredible. I, uh, this is like a very indie band that got huge notoriety for this song just because it was included in the Mass Effect credits. This is, I love this song. I have it on, it's on my iPod. I, I, I put it on my iPod immediately after beating the game for the first time. And they actually, they actually use another song from them for Mass Effect 3. They don't use them for Mass Effect 2, I don't know why. But, a couple things, another couple things. Um, one, the choice of who you chose as humanity's council representative is technically not on the save file. So, it wouldn't have mattered which one I chose. I just chose Captain Anderson because, obviously, <laughs> that, that, that's the Paragon option. Picking Odina after all the crap he pulled would be kind of stupid. And then the 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 weird the weird ending that they had there where it showed Shepard and the background of a planet with a system in the like a giant space station in the system with blue lights and and proud music. That is also depending on I think it depends on your choice of council member, but I think it's mostly affected by whether or not you went Paragon or whether or not you went Renegade. Since it was the blue option, that means I went Paragon. I think there's like a different op different a different ending if or different look if you went renegade. I think it's supposed to be like orangish red. I think it's a different planet. I'm not sure about the space system that's in the background. But good god. Oh I love Mass Effect. <laughs> and it and, and I remember when it came out I didn't have Well I did have a 360. I just bought a 360. And one of my friends was constantly playing this game. And whenever we were at school, he would constantly talk about this game, like, oh, I'm on my sixth run through this game. And it's like, it's like what game are you playing? The same thing kind of happened with Fallout 3 for me, too. Like, I had, I had tons of friends playing Fallout 3, and I was in the dark about everything. And they kept on talking about it and talking about it. So it's like, what, what game are these people playing? So I got Mass Effect, and I pl started playing it, and I can exactly see why he liked it so much. Or why he... Why it was the pretty much the only game that he was playing for probably a good couple months. I mean, I've been playing this game since May <laughs> for this channel. 61 episodes spread across 30 weeks, basically. That's over a year. That's over half a year. Now, I don't know whether or not Mass Effect 2 is going to be as long as this. There's a couple things different about Mass Effect 2. And I'm going to talk about that more Tuesday when we actually start playing Mass Effect 2. As you see right there, credit music, M4 Part 2, written and performed by Fonts, or Founts, or however it's actually pronounced. Now we get the Mass Effect cast. Kimberly Brooks. Why don't I remember that person? Oh, because that's the person that did Ask Ashley Williams' voice. No wonder I couldn't remember. So, Commander Shepard female, I didn't choose that one. A lot of people like Fem Shep, which is her kind of unofficial slash official name. Mark Mir does Commander Shepard male. I actually like... Fem Shep's voice actor a lot better than Mark Mir, but I'm playing this as a male because, well, it, like I said, it hasn't it has been a long time since I played Mass Effect, the Mass Effect trilogy, all the way through, as a male. <laughs> I mean, the last time I played it was right after, right after the game, right after Mass Effect 3 came out, and I beat it with my male character. Then I decided to go through them all again, so they did a new file with a female character. I don't, I don't want to be talking over this credit sequence. It's going to be like five minutes long. Because this song is like eight minutes long. And I'm pretty sure they go through the actual, all of the song. <laughs> and I'm sorry that last episode was only like 11, 12 minutes. I thought it was going to be more like 20, 30 minutes. If I would have known that, I would have, I would have compacted both episodes. And I actually would have cut Ilos into two since that was about 45 minutes. But I just wanted that 61 number. I was looking for that that number that would make it easy for me to cut it off and start a new project next week. And by new project, I mean I mean Legacy's still going on, but we're just going on to the second season of Legacy with Mass Effect 2. And I am super excited to start that. I I mean, unfortunately, I recorded this. It's not even Thanksgiving yet at the time of recording. And Mass Effect 2 technically won't start until Christmas Eve. So I got like a month of planning a month of getting things together which doesn't really <laughs> which I guess this is technically the break that I'm experiencing 
but as soon as, as soon as we get closer to that, because I kind of want it to be a little bit more topical than I don't know about a month in advance. Uh, I'm gonna be playing that crap out of that game, and I'm probably gonna be adding the mature audiences warning logo that I kind of put on the last episode of Mass Effect, or not the last episode, the episode where all the sexy time happened with Liara. <laughs> Just because Mass Effect 2 is a little bit more darker than Mass Effect 1 in terms of, I guess, in terms of what's going on with the story and what goes on in the game. Like, there is a lot more violent sequences, a little bit more sexual things. Not as, not as, I mean, the one that happened in Mass Effect is probably the, the most that happens in the Mass Effect series. Just because they toned it down because of all the controversy that happened with Fox and everything else that happened with it. So if, if you, I guess you can blame Fox for that, but... Eh, not really. I mean, it, it's an optional thing. And I've probably been playing this for about 40 hours at this point. Which is very odd, because I don't usually play Mass Effect for that long. I guess I just took a long time on some things. I just wanted to make sure everything was fine. I'm trying to remember where we're at in the song. I've heard this song, like, a hundred times. I should know. They're in the instrumental section of the song. I'm just listening to the music right now. I'm so glad I got these headphones too, because <laughs> back when I started, back when I started Watch Me Fail, back when I started doing the Let's Play stuff about over a year ago, I usually had I, I put a head, pair of headphones on and did the game audio through the capture, and that lagged a little bit, which is why I think in the second, the third episode of Mario Golf Toadstool Tour, I got very confused because the audio was lagging behind the, to what the picture was on what I was currently doing, and I can't do that with a Hodge because the Hodge system is like four seconds behind anyway, but I got some nice wireless headphones that I can plug into my TV. And they're surround sound too, <laughs> so I can plug them in and I can listen to everything that's, like everything's around me, so I can just be totally immersed in this, just like what I like to do with video games. I still, I, it just makes it harder for me to watch Netflix though whenever I'm playing video games like I'm used to though, except, except during recordings. Yeah, we're getting very close to the end of the song. The credits are still going on. I don't remember a second credit song. Then again, it, when was the last time I beat this game? 2012. <laughs> so about about a year and a half ago was the last time I beat this game. And the end of the song. So they must be they must play like the Mass Effect theme song after this then. Unless they're just or unless they're actually done right now. Oh, they are. Oh, okay. No wonder. <laughs> so. I don't think... Yeah, it's going to bring us right back to the title screen. So, if I really wanted to, and I'm probably not going to, I can show this off at least. Now that I've beaten Mass Effect, and if you beat Mass Effect for the first time, you'll, you'll probably get a bunch of unlock things right there happening. But now, I can always go to Start New Career. Welcome to Alliance Military... Oh no, I did that wrong. Oh no, I did that wrong. No. Oh wait, no, I didn't do it wrong. So we haven't seen this since episode one, which was all the way back in May. I just, I, I just want to go through this as quick as possible. So I can do select existing ID. And yeah, these are some of the, good God, created. Oh, that wasn't the, oh, that, there it is. Oh, oh God. No, that's, that can't be it. Where's my original file? Oh, it's way down here. <laughs> so this was the, this is my first playthrough of Mass Effect right here. As you see, I only got to level 48 because afterwards I had the boost for, I had the boost for beating the game. And so you get, you get like an experience boost. This is why as you see a couple times I, I played the game as, yeah, Rebecca Shepard. I think that was the, that was the playthrough I did, <laughs> the last playthrough I did. And you see, I have a couple levels. I have a level 60. So if I wanted to, I could replay Bucky Shepard if I want to. All the stats. It's going to its gonna keep me with all the items that were in my inventory, the armor I was wearing, the weapons I have, the mods on the weapons, and my level. So this is New Game Plus, and I can just keep on doing it over and over again. However, I'm not going to be doing it over and over again. So. Well, what about Shepard? So, so tough. But on the next episode of Legacy, and I'm going to end it like this. We are going to be playing Mass Effect 2 with Bucky Shepard. So, until next time, 
Hopefully you enjoy. Over there. Gold jam back here. And here is another level. Tree tops. That level is infamous in Spyro the Dragon. Like, people say that this is one of the hardest levels in the game. I would agree to an extent. I don't find it's the hardest level in the game, but it is certainly challenging. Ah. I guess I needed that. Wow, it's dark. 